Today, I'm going to show you my absolutely favorite paradiddle exercises because I really love paradiddles. Let's get going. What's happening, everyone? Welcome into today's lesson. My name is Dave Major of DaveMajorMusic.com. And if you're new here, thank you very much for checking out the lesson. Today we're talking about paradiddles because I think paradiddles are awesome and I think they are the best rudiment you can ever practice. They give you the most benefit. They are effectively just drumming because they are just singles and doubles. There's just so much stuff they teach you, so much stuff they give you. If I could play just one thing, it would just be paradiddles. I think I just do play paradiddles. That's maybe depressing. So today's lesson is all about my two favourite exercises. But I want to explain what a paradiddle is not. This is not a paradiddle. Yes, I'm doing right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. However, the reason it's not a paradiddle is it doesn't have an accent. And as soon as you put that accent in there, the paradiddles come alive. Not only are they more musical, which is great, not only do they sound cooler on the kit, which is also great, but they actually start to teach you some stuff. So let me talk about what paradiddles actually teach you and the reason that I believe that they are most important and then we'll get onto the exercises. Firstly, paradiddles are an equalizer exercise. And what I mean by that is that they balance both your hands. If you're ever feeling like your hands are weak, just play some paradiddles and try your very, very level best to make them as even as possible. Now they are the first compound rudiment anyone comes across. Now a compound rudiment is where you have combinations of singles and doubles in the same subdivision. If you have learned a five stroke roll, that is not a compound rudiment because the accent is a slower subdivision. It's an eighth note or a sixteenth note. If it was to be a compound rudiment, you'd squeeze them all together and you get quintuplets, which is cool. So they are a compound rudiment combining singles and doubles. Drumming is singles and doubles, therefore drumming is paradiddles. Third reason I love paradiddles is they teach you accent tap control. Now accent tap control being play an accent, control the stick, play some taps or some ghost notes. Effectively, I'm thinking backbeats and ghost notes. Right hand, fair enough, fair enough. But if you think about the left hand, that's what the left hand does most of the time. It plays accents, backbeats, and it plays ghost notes. A paradiddle teaches you how to play ghost notes, which is awesome. They also teach you the much fabled and much overthought about molar technique because they, it contains molar. In order to play it, you have to learn to play a nice loose whip. It teaches you so much stuff. Apply to the kit, they sound awesome. This is why I love paradiddles, why I could probably have it tattooed on my face. So now I've explained why I really, really love paradiddles, let me talk about the exercises today. We're gonna to do a dynamic exploration and an inversion exploration. Sounds really, really, really complex. It's not actually that hard. Let's talk about dynamics first. Dynamics are accents and soft notes. So let's move that accent through our paradiddle. If you say paradiddle, 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 you can just accent with your voice different parts of the word. So pa, then ra, then de, then l. Now I like to string these together as a four bar phrase, i.e. do one bar of each option. And I'll explain why in a minute. Let me just demonstrate the exercise nice and slow. Paradiddle, 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 now the reason I like to string them together as a four bar exercise is because it allows me to balance every single option. So therefore the first paradiddle and the second one, they can be a lot faster than the last two. However, if I'm gonna use these together and string them together and use the skills that I'm learning there, then I want them to be balanced. So whenever you're doing a dynamic exercise or any combination exercise, try to do one bar of each. It allows you to make sure every single element is equal and therefore it's equally useful on the kit. Now you can build that up. It's gonna have a speed limit because of the very last one. So let me try it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four.
Those last two really teach your left hand, they're really great for getting your left hand nice and strong to play ghost notes before and after backbeats because when you're accenting the third note of a paradiddle on the left side, you go de dull, which is basically like Rosanna. If you've ever struggled to play that, which everyone has, practice paradiddles first, get good at paradiddles first, then that will suddenly become easy. And the fourth one shows you how to do what's called a pull out accent or ghost note accent which is kind of like Funky Drummer. Again, if you struggle with that groove to get that particular sound down and use it in your songs and your bands, then practice paradiddles. Let's talk about inversions. Inversions are where we move the order of notes in relation to the one, but the order of the notes doesn't actually change. It's a bit Inception style. However, if you have the book stick control, it is five, six, seven, and eight in there. And all we're gonna do is place the accent on the first and the fifth note. Sounds like this and what I'll do is I'll play it once through and then I will move the right hand to this little nubbin over here to give you a different sound. Now what I try to do is when I'm practicing this is make it sound that if I close my eyes, I wouldn't really know which one it is. If I was hearing someone else play it, that's the kind of sound I want. Because if I move between them and I move between the inversions and connect them together, then I don't particularly want someone to be able to point out or when I'm recording it to point out like, okay, you've gone to the fourth one, which you're not very good at and you really, really shouldn't do that anymore. So the inversions and the dynamics are effectively attacking the same problem. We are exploring that paradiddle deeper. We are making our hands do more complex motions, which will allow us to get more intricate patterns on the kit, which is the whole point of this entire lesson and the whole point of learning any rudiment, any exercise and spending any time with this blue, not so nice sounding, not as cool as your nice shiny drum kit device over here. The practice pad is there to help you get the sounds down and the techniques down so that when you go in the kit, you don't have to think about the patterns that you're playing. If you enjoyed this lesson and you want to go a bit deeper with paradiddles, head on over to davemajormusic.com. I've got a course called The Paradiddle Secret, which takes these ideas and grows them exponentially. So that'll do it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this lesson, remember, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next lesson. Hit like so I know that you enjoy this video just as much as I enjoy making it. And stay safe and have some happy drumming, guys. Take care.